every day just in my little office, it's Shirley Hatcher, me, and Leslie Greenwood, and we kind of have fun. Um, we enjoy working together. We work quite well as a team, and we can see that in the customers that come in, the reactions that they give us, and how they speak to us. They really seem to enjoy coming to Edmond and visiting our office. I really love dealing with the citizens here in Edmond. We get a lot of good stories. The ones that's retired here, you know, that's might be moving back in, you know, they've moved out of this, the town for a while and they moved back. Uh, we'll get stories about where they lived at, what they did. The first place they have to come to get their electric services to our office. And we try to make them feel welcome. We have a little area for the children to play, to keep them busy. We give the kids toys. Um, and they really enjoy coming to our office. If you are uh, kind of an introvert, you would not make it in our office. <laughs> Leslie Greenwood is a contractual services rep like I am. Um, I've worked with her for about two and a half years now, and her responsibilities are starting commercial and residential accounts, also taking phone calls and helping our admin residents. Uh, we do a lot with, um, you know, anytime they have billing questions or stuff like that, you know, they'll come in to see us and we'll go over that with them. Uh, we get a lot of outside questions about different things, you know, that refer to the city but actually isn't the city that we, you know, will direct them to the right position or the right place to go to. Leslie loves to wear jeans. We get to wear jeans every Friday for Casual Friday, but Leslie would pay to wear jeans every single day to work. If that was allowed in our dress code, jeans would be definitely my dress code every day. Jeans is something you can dress up, you can dress down, you, know, you can, they're comfortable, you can just, you know, show yourself, you know, be, be who you are. Every year we do an angel tree for the city of Edmond, um, which our donations go to the Hope Center uh, families. We, I believe this year was 20 families, and by the time our holiday luncheon came, we didn't even have enough donations for half of those families. That meant half of the, over half of the families were gonna go without um, any gifts for the holiday. So um, Leslie, love of her jeans, I said, well, let's do a jean day. Let's you know charge us the employees so much money you know, to wear jeans for the week of Christmas. An email was sent out to the, all of the city employees of Edmond that stated if you wanted to donate $5 to wear jeans for the holiday week, which was three days of the Christmas week, that um, that money would go towards the Hope Center gifts. I would say during that week, uh, the participation was probably about 95%. So that was a great you know, turnout for that. And in two days of donations, we raised $860 for the Hope Center. That enabled us to purchase gifts for the remainder of the families and also donate cash over to the Hope Center. So knowing that them children had a, you know, a good meal and had some presents underneath the tree, that's just an awesome feeling knowing that them, you know, those kids woke up with a smile on their face. I'm very glad to have Leslie Greenwood on my team. She brings great ideas for our uh, donation purposes. We try to help as many of the charities in Edmond as possible. We help the Mobile Meals, the Hope Center, and she comes up with some great ideas to help those. She is, would help anybody. And I'm hoping maybe next year we can double the families that we helped this year, the amount. Mm -hmm.